Hi, this is Nina Amir, Inspiration to Creation Coach with Copyright Communications. So tomorrow I'm going to be giving a talk on how to pitch. And it struck me that there might be some people who can't make it to the talk who'd like to know about how to pitch. So when I'm talking about pitch, I'm talking about how to pitch your book using what some people would call an elevator speech. And uh, elevator speech is kind of what it sounds like. You know, you have 30 seconds, 60 seconds, you're in an elevator, and you might want to tell somebody about your book. Uh, that somebody could be um, a literary agent, and you're hoping that they might want you to send them your book proposal. Or it could be that you're, let's say, uh, in the elevator with a potential reader, and you want to tell them about your book because it's already published, and you want them to go to the store and buy it. So you want to have this pithy, short, compelling statement that you can offer them so that they know what your book's about. It's, an, it's a sound bite, uh, something very short, as I said, that they can remember. And basically you want it to be something where you, you say something to them and it leaves them with, with that little bit of question in their mind. And so they say, tell me more. I want to know more. Could you tell me something more? And, and then you have some information that you give them that's the more. You know, some more, maybe three bullet points you have prepared that you can tell them. Okay? So, of course, we have two kinds of books. We have nonfiction, we have fiction. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information on how to do a fiction pitch and then a little bit of information on how to do a nonfiction pitch. Actually, we're going to start with nonfiction, I'm sorry, and then we're going to go to fiction. Okay, so for nonfiction, you're going to uh, really be focused on, on the benefits of this book, the benefits and what the book is about. These are the two key points. So people buy nonfiction because they're looking to solve problems, to get answers to questions, and uh, they're really looking for some kind of benefit in their life, some kind of added value, and that's what you want to get across in your pitch. And uh, you also, of course, need to be able to tell what the book's about. So that's the main thing. You may also have some information about the market that's kind of woven in. Another way to look at this is that your pitch for nonfiction is going to answer three questions. Why this book? Why now? Why you? So it's going to answer those three questions. You also want to not just focus on, uh, on, on the book book subject and the added value, but what's unique about the book? What makes it different from everything else that's out on the market? So that goes beyond the benefits and it goes to maybe the unique features in the book or your unique angle. Uh, you may want to therefore compare it to other books that are out there already that have been published, maybe a best-selling book. And you may also want to talk about why you're the expert on the topic. That might be what makes your book unique, is, is you the author. And uh, you might want to also talk about your platform. If your platform is really great and you can market that book and sell it really well, that might be something that's going to be interesting to a publisher or to an agent. Now, if you're marketing to um, or you're, you're giving your pitch to a potential reader, that's not going to matter. But uh, these unique features and why your book is different, that's going to matter to a reader. Okay, so moving on to fiction. There are just a few things to really think about with fiction. Uh, according to Catherine Sands, who is a literary agent and an author of a book about pitching, she says that you need three things. Person, place, and pivot. Person, place, and pivot. This is very similar to what Donald Moss talks about, who is also an author and an agent. He talks about three elements that help you tell the beginning of your story in a pitch. And these are setting, protagonist, and the problem that the protagonist faces. So if you can stick to those three things, setting, protagonist, and problem, you're going to be pretty close to getting your, your pitch handled. Okay? So now, uh, the other thing, uh, in a little more depth, that Chuck Sambuccino, author also, um, and editor, talks about is uh, actually going through six elements. And so he, he doubles the number, and he says you need to introduce your main character, 
and then you have to introduce something interesting um, or what this character really wants. So you could do both, uh, something interesting and what he wants, either way. Um, and then you introduce an inciting incident, and this is something that actually moves the plot forward in your novel. Then you can introduce the hook, which is actually the plot. Uh, so this is what the story is really about. So at this point you're, you're saying, here's what my novel is about. But it's short. It's not the whole story. Don't make the mistake of trying to synopsize your whole novel. That is the biggest mistake I see people making. Do not do that. Okay, and then you're going to explain the stakes, Chuck says. Explain the stakes or the complication in the book. could be as simple as innocent people die. Okay, and then you're going to describe the unclear wrap-up. And I love how Chuck says that, the unclear wrap-up. You don't give away the ending, but you imply what happens, and, and, and you do kind of say what, what the conclusion is, but without giving away the whole story. And, and then most importantly, um, and I think this is, is really a great statement, is to describe how the character's changing. This is the character arc. So you have the story arc, but you have the character arc. And that's also really important when it comes to nonfiction for memoir. There has to be a character arc in your memoir, as well as, as, a, as a story arc. And, uh, and a memoir also has to have benefit. And, and that's really important to bring that across in your pitch. To, to have some, some, some uh, benefit in your memoir, and that's going to set your memoir apart if you can do that. So um, that's, that's it for writing a pitch. Uh, oh, one other thing I would say is, while I did say that sticking to 50 words uh, was a good idea, or I think I said that, I, I do like pitches that are 50 words um, uh, or less, but uh, a lot of the fiction pitches I see that are really good do range um, from 50 to 100 words. So the fiction pitches tend to be a little bit longer. It takes a little bit longer to fit all that information into a fiction pitch. Uh, but the nonfiction pitches, a lot of them it can be really good at 25 to 50 words. So I encourage you to write long and then hone it down as, as close as you can get, um, or, or as short as you can get and uh, I think you'll come up with something really good that will uh, sell your book to agents and acquisitions editors and to readers. So good luck and uh, I hope you achieve uh, more inspired results. Thanks so much.